So another one of the big categories for the Oscars is Best Director. Uh, we have uh, what I think is a pretty great field of directors with, I think, one pretty significant surprise given some history. What do you think about the director? You know, it, it is. It's a, it's a great group of directors and a lot of good films. Uh, once again, we're looking at a lot of films that, that are very different and diverse in their content and their direction. Uh, Kenneth Lonegren for Manchester by the Sea, that's a, that's a, a heck of an achievement in subtlety. Mm -hmm. Moonlight, very similar, very subtle in that film. Um, and then of course, La La Land is a big giant original musical. And I think Damien Chazelle's gonna get it. I, I, I don't know how many awards La La Land might get with their historical nominations, but I think the, the momentum behind the Golden Globes, I see Damien winning for La La Land. I don't think that's a bad bet. Um, I'm going with Barry Jenkins for Moonlight. I just really think that there's a critical mass building behind that film at the perfect moment in this cycle. But the big surprise for me is Mel Gibson in this category, given that he was sort of persona non grata for a number of years in Hollywood, and now here he is with a Best Picture nomination and Best Director. Yeah, you don't, you don't know if you want to punish Hollywood or be like, well, at least they forgive. They're a forgiving <laughs> bunch. Because a lot of times, directors who have shaky past, Woody Allen, the, Roman Polanski, they mm -hmm. end up back in this thing. And once mm -hmm. again, like you mentioned, you have Mel Gibson right back there uh, in the mix. So mm -hmm. it is interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see how uh, people react to his um, just being on that type of platform in today's landscape. Mm -hmm. Absolutely.